Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing kind of like a devil slash demon, I guess, look. Uh, so if you like to see what I do, just keep on watching. Uh, pardon the super... It is really rainy and gloomy outside, barely any light, and since I only use my um, umbrella lights for additional light, kind of washes me out. <laughs> so I'll be probably doing like this a lot so you can actually see better. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about the light. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by painting my entire face red <laughs> and my neck and chest. So I'm just going to be using the water activated face paint from Snazaroo in the red shade. And yeah, I'm going to just throw that on real quick. Okay, so I tried to readjust the lighting a little bit. It's not quite helping, but you know, what can you do? I know it looks a little crazy right now. I'm gonna have my jacket on, so that's why I didn't do any other areas of my body. And uh, didn't do it around my eyes because I'm going to be doing that later with eyeshadow. But I think I'm going to start on some contouring. So I'm going in to the Wet n Wild Smoky Paint Palette. Um, yeah, I think this will, Mm, yeah, I'm going to go in with this dark red shade right here. And I think I'm going to go in with a dry beauty sponge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the places where I would contour my face. This is going to be kind of more, more so the transitional shade for my contour. So I'm going to blend this into the red pretty nicely. I'm going to bring it up to my temples as well. Okay, now that I have that part done, I'm going to go into this dark purple shade from the same palette and do the exact same thing, but I'm just not going to blend it out as far. Okay, since I want this to be a lot more precise, I'm just using a blending brush.
Okay, now since that was cream paint and it's kind of like tacky and shiny, I am going to set it with the uh, Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder in the shade Translucent Extra Coverage. Okay, now I think before I do any contouring along my nose, which I do plan on doing, I think I want to do my eyebrows first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Pretty Vulgar, the Ink Black List Gel Eyeliner and use that to fill in my brows. Okay, now that that is done, I actually think I am going to contour my nose with like a shadow maybe, <laughs> just because, yeah. Okay, so for eyes, let's see, what do I want to do? So I don't really want to do a complicated eye look, so I'm going to start off by using the shade Hot Tamale from Coastal Scents. I'm going to use that and put it all over my lid on my under eye from where the paint is not there, just to even it all up. Okay, then for all over my lid and my lower lash line, I'm going in with the shade Pomegranate Red from Coastal Scents. Okay, now I'm going to go in the shade Bitten by Makeup Geek and I'm going to use this to start contouring my nose. Okay, and then I'm going into the shade Deep Roast from Coastal Scents as well. I'm going to use slightly more pers precise brush, but apply that in the same areas. I'm just gonna use this brush I used all over my lid. Okay, then I think I'm going to use that same shade and actually deepen up the contour along here because it's looking a little um, non-cohesive to me now because of how dark it is right there. Okay, yeah, just right off the bat, that's looking a thousand times better. Okay, 
Okay, then I'm going to just sweep that on my lower lash line as well. Okay, and then I do want to add a little bit of black to the eyes. So I'm going in with the Studio Makeup On The Go Warm Up Palette. And I'm just taking the black from there. I'm going to take a slightly precise brush. I'm just going to use this pencil brush right here from Luxie. This is the 141 Mini Round brush. I'm going to tap it into that. And then only right here where the crease and the um, bridge of the nose meets, I'm going to add some black. I think I'm going to add just a bit right here as well to blend into that brown. Just blend it a little bit down the side of the nose. And then I'm also going to sweep some of that on the lower lash line. Okay, and then I'm going to take some more of that deep roast color and I think I'm going to smudge it around my lips a little. Maybe just on the outer corners actually. Actually, no, I'm gonna do it all around. <laughs> okay, now I do, I think, I do, I think, <laughs> I do think uh, I um, wanna add some highlights. So let me choose a color. Okay, I think I'm going to go into the vintage Ah, this is broken. Oh my goodness. I'm still going to use it, but this is the Rose Gold Highlighter from Vintage Cosmetics by Jessica... Uh, Jessica something. <laughs> I cannot say that name for the life of me. But I'm going to just use that on my finger and use that to highlight parts of my face. Okay, now for eyelashes, I want to do white eyelashes. So I'm going to go into the Water Activated Face Paint from Snazaroo, use a spoolie brush, and then just apply that to my lashes. I think for lips, I'm going to do black. Do I want to do black? Yes. Yes. Uh, I think I want to do black. I don't know. I wonder if I should have put on eyeliner. I'm having like a, like a, I hate this look kind of feeling. <laughs> hmm. Okay. 
Okay, we're just gonna throw on the lipstick and see how that makes me feel. <laughs> I am going to blur out the edges. I think I just need to let it be and then um, throw on the wig and the horns and then make a decision. So yeah, I will be right back. Okay, hello. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to attach the horns real quick. Same concept I did is I make little molds out of uh, air dry clay. And then I cover them, once the, once the clay is completely dry, I cover them in a few coats of liquid latex, powder it, and then I slowly peel off the liquid latex that is on the mold. And then I stuff it with cotton. And I painted these. And then, because they're really lightweight that way and then I'm going to just attach these real quick with some more liquid latex. Okay now I'm just going to take some black and blend it up in to the um, edges and the red. Okay, now that I'm shielding myself from so much light, I think I might actually want to do my hands red with black fingertips using the water activated face paint from Snazzeru. So I'll do that and be right back. Okay, so yeah, I painted my hands as you can see. Um, I'm wondering if I should do some kind of black detail coming up from the neck. I think I just might do that with some of the water activated face paint from Snazzeru real quick. I think the girls with their nails done now. Okay, so this is the finished look. Sorry, I have to block some of the light so it's not washing me out completely. But yeah, this is the look. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already or if you want to. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.